Recently, key leaders from the Afghan National Police and the Afghan National Army gathered to familiarize themselves with new combat lifesaver techniques and equipment. Brigadier General Percy Hurtado, NATO Training Mission Afghanistan's Deputy Commander, is pleased with the Afghan National Security Forces progress, as they have been training for this program for more than three months with assistance from the coalition. So anytime that you're, uh, you can improve the survivability rates uh, and increase the the, you know the the chances of somebody surviving on the battlefield. I think I think that's huge. It, it helps in many areas, especially with recruiting and retention. Uh, and it's just the right thing to do. The train the trainer portion of the program will begin around November, with the core level training beginning after the new year. Colonel Mark Holland, NTMA command surgeon, says there are two key elements highlighting the success of the day's events. One is that you saw the ANA and the ANP coming together to establish one program for the combat lifesaver for the entire ANSF. I think that's very important that you see them working together, both the MOD and the MOI. And second, it was an opportunity not only uh, for the medics to display this program, but to really talk about it to senior leadership within the ANA and ANP so they have buy-in and the importance of the CLS program. This allows uh, an increased quantity of non-medical personnel to be trained in life-saving uh, opportunities to help the wounded in action at the point of injury, which is very crucial. The advisory team for the Armed Forces Academy of Medical Sciences worked with the ANSF partners to develop a CLS program of instructors and curriculum. And this program has been submitted to the Surgeon Generals of the ANA and ANP. Colonel Steve Plourd, advisory team leader for the Academy of Medical Science, says it is crucial that non-medical leaders are on board with the sustainment of the program. At the end of the day, we could put together a, a very uh, sophisticated uh, medical uh, treatment system, but today underlines the fact that every single level of the medical system spectrum has to be equally robust. Emphasizing this, to the remainder of the ANSF, the non-medical ANSF leadership, to, uh, to commit to allowing time and resources to be uh, devoted in training uh, their soldiers. Uh, we saw a need uh, collectively with the uh, ANSF forces uh, to provide a little bit more, uh, mo mostly on that non-medic uh, personnel side, to assist uh, with this very important point of injury care. And it's actually a program that has been designed by the, the ANSF, and it's going to be something that will sustain them well beyond after the fact that the, when the coalition uh, leaves here. So this is definitely an Afghan program. Altogether, more than 12,000 ANSF members will be trained as combat lifesavers, and enough CLS bags will be given to accommodate those personnel. From Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Technical Sergeant Mark Bell.